All right, hey guys, it's Lakeisha Hankins here, and I just wanted to do a quick video before I um, power down for tonight. I actually just got off a webinar where we were supposed to go over some Facebook training, and Reginald and Keisha, who are you know, both one of my, my mentors and top income earners on our team, shared some tips with us tonight, you know, to help us, you know, build our business and, you know, just go out there and, you know, help others. So I wanted to share a couple of things that were shared on tonight's call so that maybe you can implement them into either into your business or your life, regardless if you're in the assignation or with another company. Um, the first thing is definitely, you know, creating a goal. You have to have a goal as to what it is that you want to achieve. You know, so you know what your what your target is, what you're aiming for. Because if not, then you're just out there, you know, wondering, wonderingly, aimlessly, and you really don't know what it is that you're going after. So set a goal to what it is that you you want to make in your business, whether it be you know five k a month, ten k a month, whatever it is, write it down. So definitely set it, setting a goal, and then also personal development. You know, I'm really huge on personal development. I uh, especially like three years ago. So um, on the call. You know, we also cover some books that you definitely want to have in your library. And I have a lot of these actually already in my in the Millionaire's Library that I have. I actually have, I think the list that I'm going to give you, I have them all except two of them. So the first book is Think and Grow Rich. So you definitely want to make sure you go out there and get that. I did not write down all of the, um, the authors for some of these books. But Think and Grow Rich is by Napoleon Hill. Your First Year in Network Marketing. Definitely want to read that book, um, regardless as if you just got in the business or not. I wish I would have read this book actually when I first started, but then I was so um, caught up on trying to learn the skill set. But one thing we know is that you you have to personally your mindset has to be there first in order for you to be able to you know receive anything because you, you know you could possibly receive it and lose it, and I've done that before, um, made money and just not being able to maintain it just because I had a bad relationship with money. Right, but when you know better, you do better. The third book was Start With Why. And the fourth book is How to Win Friends and Influence People. And The Science of Getting Rich and Secrets of the Millionaire Mindset. And I'll also list these books below so that you can grab them. Go out there to Amazon and grab these books. Okay, and the next thing we talked about is, you know, creating, having a schedule. You know, um, I am the type to really, you know, I try to write down a schedule, but I do a lot of shooting from the hip. So I'm trying to get better at this, but planning out your day, try to have some kind of systems in place, some kind of schedule, you know, wake up in the morning with your prayer, meditation, uh, set your work hours, your block hours that you're going to do work, what are you going to do, what are you going to do, like, you know, set your foundation for that day, what needs to get done, you know, your work, your breaks, all that different things, try to have some kind of schedule to follow, okay, and I'm working on that, I got to do better, um, and then we, um, Reginald got on, he shared some YouTube tips. I've been doing a lot of video marketing lately. I'm actually like loving this. This was actually one of my, uh, I was actually scared to do maybe a couple of months ago. You know, gosh, getting in front of the camera, I would procrastinate. Now I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing since life spread because I really don't like to write. So I'm quick now to, you know, shoot a video about whatever it is that I'm learning or whatever it is that I'm doing, you know, to be able to share with you guys. But we talked about lifestyle marketing and, you know, I love lifestyle marketing and we talked about how sometimes some people get this all just, you know, I guess out of context is how I want to ex explain it. Because a lot of times, you know, you see these nice cars, um, flashy cars, big homes, you know, all these lavish vacations and things of that sort. And that's not attractive to, to everyone. I know for me, you know, I really had no desire to be a millionaire. I just wanted to be able to own my own home, be debt free, be able to take at least, you know, two to three vacations or so a year and be able to, you know, set my own hours. But your know, lifestyle marketing does not necessarily have to mean about the flashy cars. You know, just being authentic, just being who you are and then, you know, just sharing how you have been blessed to be able to go out there, you know, live your life or whatever and share with others, you know, what this industry has made possible for you because you decided to go after your dreams or so. You know, so he shared some tips and then, you know, of course, you know, some people, maybe you're afraid to get on um, in front of the camera, you know, how you can use a software like Contasia where it actually, you know, it's your voice talking 
your voice, but then uh, you're talking over the, you know, the screen, like over, like I guess, like a PowerPoint presentation or so. So they don't actually have to see your face. You don't have to do that. The main thing, guys, I say the easiest way to overcome fear is to just do it. So if you're scared to shoot videos, the, the quickest way to overcome that is just to do them, and you will perfect along the way. So some of the things we talked about is making sure you have a catchy title. Um, on your videos, making sure that title is also in the description of the video, that you also, when you do the description, you lead with your website, make sure your keywords are in there, and one of the tips I will give you is when you put your keywords in there, try to use 10 keywords, no more than 10, and also making sure that one of the keywords is your name. Um, I start with the you know, most important keywords first, and then you want to make sure you syndicate your videos. So syndicating them means sharing them on Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, whatever social media sites that are out there, right? You want to get your content out there to the world. And then when you get done taking that blog and sending it out to your Aweber list, and that's the one thing I definitely need to implement is sending that, once I do a blog, is sending it to, you know, my list, sharing with them as well. So guys, that's it for tonight. That's all I'm going to share because I'm up to six minutes in. I don't want, I value your time and I got to get to the bed, get, you know, get some sleep. So that's it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. And if you haven't already, definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel. Stay connected. Learn what it is that I'm doing. Um, definitely learn. If you want to learn about the program that we're in, uh, we're showing others how you can make money on with this program without having to do any recruiting by simply just going on eBay, copying and pasting a few items. For a measly 20 bucks, you could change your life. So click the link below and let's stay connected.